Hi, uh, this video is about limit switches. So there are uh, many makes and models of it. Um, this limit switches, they are known as the micro switches as well. Uh, as you can see here, there are many many different types and it depends on the what application you are using. Okay, uh, companies, uh, there are lots of companies, they make uh, this kind of limit switches. Um, you can just Google um, on these uh, companies and you can find out that brochures. This is the one very good I found from the Alan, Alan Bradley. Uh, you can find the Honeywell Acidic Flow Control, Bernstein and so many on. Okay, So these are the companies, they make these limit switches. Okay, So types. Uh, so the first one here, it shows a single pole, single throw switch. Only one contact is here and that contact is normally open. The second one here is on the single pole, single throw, and is normally close contact. The third one is a two contact available, normally open, normally close, and um, it is a single pole, double throw switch. Uh, this one is double pole, double throw switch. You have two com contact, uh, two NO, two NCs. Uh, now remember that uh, these limit switches they are made for the control circuits. They are not made for the heavy current passes through. So they are uh, not made for the power circuit okay so that's the very important thing to remember applications uh, many common use uh, is the uh, is used in the many applications the most common use is a safety mechanism uh, detecting the presence of any substance or any any metal part or anything like that so detecting the presence and absence uh, counting so if you like if you want to measure something and there is a cam is attached uh, the mechanical cam every time with each rotation uh, that cam can hit the limit switch and that's how you can count uh, the number of rotation uh, detecting the range of movement uh, automation sequence uh, forward and reverse control of the motor so many many applications uh, of these limit switches okay um, Industries, so which industry they are used? They are using material, logistic, handling, uh, packaging, moving, warehousing, distribution, uh, food and beverage industries uh, during the packaging and distribution, uh, manufacturing in textile industry and uh, many other places. Uh, they are using auto heavy equipment, machining, uh, marine, aviation, uh, glass and plastic industries, um, metals, mining, refining, processing. Uh, commercial and residential applications, uh, control cabinets, and um, there are maybe thousand other that is not mentioned here. Okay, uh, these are the couple practical example here. So this one, the limit switches are used as a safety mechanism. So what's going on here is that okay, let's say there is a point between A and B. Uh, this A and this part of the circuit is staying in some other um, close uh, close kind of cabinet and um, there is a big motor is running inside that cabinet so now the safety is if somebody open the door for some uh, maintenance or anything purpose or somebody is doing maintenance door is open at that time this limit switch is open okay so motor don't get the power at that time and there are two doors so you have two, two limit switches and uh, these two limit switches are open at that time uh, nobody can uh, I mean uh, the motor are uh, stopped they they are not supposed to run okay so that's what is shown here um so to run that motor this both limit switches has to be on that means door has to be closed and once this um, a and b point is closed this limit switch are closed uh, at that time the safety okay contact are operate and once safety contactor operates then only power can flow on the remaining of the circuit on the left hand side which is i have not shown here but um and as soon as somebody try to open the door, this C1 will uh, will turn off, and then whole your control circuit will turn off. Okay, so that's the one of the safety mechanism example here. Other one, let's say inside a sawmill. So let's say inside a sawmill, very high speed. Um, uh, like uh, in this uh, in the sawmill, a high speed saw quickly reduces the log into construction beam. Okay, and in this process, chips and dust and float they they float in the air, and uh, breathing is impossible. It is very hazardous to health. Um, so even even with the goggles, is kind of impossible to do inspect and cutting. 
and uh, people cannot work in this environment so engineering department can devise a system using the limit switches to make this process automa automatic okay so that's another application uh, in the residential garage uh, when the garage door open or close uh, limit switches they can be used to detect the end position okay so the one limit switch is used here in the garage door um, this is another example like uh, in the motor forward and reverse so there are two limit switches and the motor keep rotating here and as soon as you hit the one end of the limit switch it will change the position and then now um, the here in the first case the motor power is going from in one and motor is running in the one direction in the second case motor is coming power is coming from in two and then motor now runs the reverse direction so there are a couple example and there are like um, I have shown here as a practical example uh, but it's like many many applications available of this limit switches okay so I think that's pretty much for the uh, this video about the limit, switch limit switches um, thanks for watching and if you like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay bye